Hello to everyone watching this video. Thank you for joining us. In this session of our toddler tutorial series, we want to pick up where we left off and introduce to you another router OS management utility. This tool called Webfig is a web-based utility and works through any of your common web browsers. Before we begin, if you're new to router OS and you have come upon this video as your first encounter with our educational content, we recommend that you go to our YouTube channel to browse the full list of our tutorials, especially the first three toddler tutorial sessions that deal with the basics of Winbox. Similar to previous router OS management utilities such as SSH and Telnet, you can check the availability of Webfig under the IP menu and the services submenu. This menu gives you the choice of enabling or disabling Webfig on your device, which as you can see, is on port 80. Now, if you go to your browser and type in your device's IP address in the address bar, you will be redirected to a Webfig login page such as this. In case you have not set a password for your device, you will log into your device directly without seeing this page, which can be quite problematic. And you are strongly recommended to always set a password to secure your device. Before logging into our device, Let's go over the options available on this page. The first item from the left is the direct download link for Winbox. And by clicking on it, the latest version of Winbox will be downloaded to your device. Second from left runs the Telnet client on your Windows. In case Telnet is disabled on your Windows, a simple Google search will help you enable the Windows Telnet client and run it without downloading another Telnet client like Putty. As you can see, if enabled, Telnet gives you a username and password prompt, allowing you to connect to your device. For more information on Telnet, you can refer to the fourth toddler tutorial session. The next item is graphs. We will talk about graphs and graphing in another session. For now, just know that graphs can be enabled in Winbox through the Tools menu and the Graphing submenu. Once enabled, you will have access to different statistics graphs regarding the various ports on your device. For instance, on my current device, I have active WLAN and Ethernet ports and clicking on each of them gives me the data for that port. The next item on the Webfig login page is Microtex End User License Agreement. And the last item is a direct link to Microtex Wiki that can be used as a beneficial source of information for all users. One important thing to mention is that within the wider subject of white labeling that we will discuss in future episodes, management tools can be customized based on the identity of the user company. For example, Webfig can be set up in a way that presents your company logo instead of the Microtech logo on the login page, or relevant company information can be shown on Router OS's new terminal. We can even customize certain menus such as the manual menu in a way that it redirects to a customized manual instead of Microtex Wiki. For more information and any possible inquiries on white labeling, you're welcome to contact us. Back to the Webfig login page. By putting in your username and password, you can log in. And this is the interface you will see upon entering Webfig. At first glance, you can see that Webfig has an interface pretty similar to Winbox. At the top left corner, you can see the router OS version. The menus on the left have almost the same arrangement as in Winbox, and clicking on each menu either takes you to the corresponding window or gives you the relevant submenus. Moreover, you have the exit button and the Microtech Wiki shortcut at the top right corner. There are, however, a few slight differences in the arrangement of menus in Webfig. Most importantly, you can see that the new terminal tool has been relocated to the upper right corner of the window. Also, you have the Webfig button, which takes you to the main Webfig interface. The Quick Set tool has also been relocated to this part. The Safe Mode and the Undo and Redo buttons can be found near the bottom of the menus, and some items, such as graphs, are no longer nested under another menu. Nevertheless, if you're familiar with Winbox, you will have no trouble using Webfig for your device configurations. Another subtle point about Webfig is the Enable Disable button. 
In Winbox, we had the tick and cross buttons used for enabling or disabling a feature. In Webfig, you can find a small toggle button that can be set on D for disable and E for enable. Alternatively, you can click on a feature, enter its detailed configurations, and toggle the enable button on or off. An important note before we continue concerns the Quick Set tool. Quick Set can be used for basic configurations mostly by new users of router OS. However, Quick Set overrides customized router OS configurations. So in case you're working with a device that has already been configured, make sure you consult an expert network manager before using Quick Set. Otherwise, making Quick Set configurations can clash with previous customized configurations and your device will not work properly. Now, Webfig and Winbox have two main differences. The first one is Winbox's multitasking ability. As previously seen, you can open a number of menus and work at the same time on different configuration features. However, although Webfig works in real time similar to Winbox, it has a single page or a single menu interface and you can work on one menu at a time. The second and most important difference between Winbox and Webfig is a feature unique to Webfig titled Design Skin. You can find the Design Skin tool in the Webfig menus on the left. Designing a skin is particularly useful for integrated service providers and can be utilized when you have different user groups and wish to give a specific level of access to each of those groups. In other words, Design a Skin is a tool that you can use to enable or limit a user concerning certain kinds of actions. As you can see, by clicking on the Design Skin tool, check marks appear next to all menus, options, actions, and features. Toggling the checkboxes on or off will enable or disable those actions for users with a specific assigned skin. Here, we have created skin titled Limit, and as you can see, we have disabled certain menus and features for this skin. To apply this skin to a specific group of users, we will refer to the System menu and the Users submenu, and first create a group titled Limit using the tabs at the top of the page. While creating a group, we also have the option of determining a set of overall policies for each group. The important thing is that we should determine the skin of our choice to the group here. Next, from the same menu and using the Users tab, we will create a user titled Limit and assign that user to the group we just created. Now, if we log out from Webfig and log back in with the user we just created with the new skin, we can see that many of the menus and features have been removed and this user has a limited access to the menus we have allowed. Finally, if you refer to the Files menu in Winbox, you will be able to see the skin file that we just created. Thus, although skins cannot be created through Winbox, the existence of a skin can be checked and verified in Winbox. Thank you everyone for joining us on this fifth session of Toddler Tutorials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to be notified of upcoming content. Also, leave us your questions, comments, and feedbacks so we can improve our tutorials in the future. Many thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you here in our next video. Stay safe out there, and take care.